Hi everybody, Golden Era Pokemon here, and today we are going to look at the simple calf program that Ken Waller used to grow three inches of muscle on his calves over a two year period. And we can clearly see Ken Waller's almighty calf development at 19 and a half inches in this awesome photo taken by Artie Zella. Ken's calves were thick and full as was his whole physique, reminiscent of course of Mike Menses, especially that enviable inner calf development which was so prominent in most golden era bodybuilders. Ken Waller, affectionately known as Big Red, was already well developed prior to his bodybuilding heydays as he, like so many other bodybuilders at Gold's Gym, were promising football athletes. Ken Waller's philosophy on training cars was, as he put it, to feel them and not necessarily work them for 15 to 20 sets, unlike Arnold's training method, which incorporated such high volume training. Ken Waller did believe, however, in working them every day, as like Arnold, to quote Ken Waller, you walk on them every day, so you got to work them every day, end quote. His calf training program, although brief, did the job. He followed the following routine. Five sets of donkey calf raises, 15 to 20 reps per set. Two sets of seated calf raises, also 15 to 20 reps per set. And a final set of breathing calf raise pumps for 50 repetitions. Ken Waller's simple method of training calves relied on him essentially pumping up his calves. That was the key to his workout. To quote Ken, I find that when I concentrate on my calves when I'm working them, get them completely pumped, five sets, then stop, they stay pumped. When I work them day after day this way, they stay pumped, end quote. Ken did not like using heavy weights and instead would use light to moderate weights, focusing on a full movement, making sure his heels would touch the floor on each repetition. On donkey calf raises, Ken would use the same guy on his back and therefore keep the weight consistent throughout his workouts. Ken Waller, like so many old school bodybuilders, believed that donkey calf raises were the best exercises for calves. This was truly the bread and butter of his calf training workout. And at the completion of each set, Ken would not stretch his calves, but stand and feel the blood engorging his muscles. Ken Waller also did not believe in having to vary his foot position, preferring to keep his feet straight ahead when performing his calf workout. He did, however, at the end of his sets, turn his heels out, bend his knees slightly and perform five to six additional pump reps to target the outer head of the calf as he already had quite heavy inner calf development. Ken Waller, like most golden era bodybuilders, preferred when the calf raise block itself was completely rounded along the working edge. Vince's gym had such a calf raise block and only until recently, Frank Zane would actually offer one such calf raise block as well. But nowadays, such a calf raise block could easily be created at home, of course. Ken believed that such calf blocks allowed the trainee to work more efficiently with less weight on the back, especially when performing donkey calf raises because of the changing fulcrum in such a movement. As Ken Waller stated, quote, the round edge permits your foot to follow the curve of the board, thus actually changing the fulcrum point throughout the motion. The rounded edge allows you to lower your heel farther without the fulcrum of a sharper edged board gouging the bottom of your foot. As you rise on your toes, the fulcrum rolls along the curve of the board towards the toes, thus increasing resistance. The right amount of leverage is offered for the entire range of motion. It may seem like a small detail, but I find the rounded edge an important part of doing effective calf work." End quote. After performing donkey calf raises, Ken Waller would always perform a couple of sets of seated calf raises, stating that he always got great results from seated calf raises when doing them after the donkey calf raises. This was then followed by breathing calf raises, which he called pumps. 
Breathing calf raises, or pumps, as Ken Waller called them, were Ken's last exercises for calves, and involved Ken performing one single high rep set of 50 reps of standing calf raises on a calf board with no weight, just his own body weight, performed with both calves together. You simply raise on both feet and come down again in synchrony with your breath, breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the way up steady and controlled. The reason why Ken Waller incorporated these pumps at the end of his workouts was because he made the observation once that on completion of his calf sets on machines, he would measure his calves. Then he did his set of 50 breathing reps and measured his calf again and found that he had gained a quarter of an inch of pump with that final high rep set. This last pump set would pump his calves so much that he was unable to walk at the end of his workout. Finally, on the matter of rest between sets, he would only rest enough for his training partner to do his set before performing his next set. So that was Ken Waller's simple but effective calf raise workout, which according to Ken, gave him three inches of muscle growth on his calves. So if you need to stimulate some calf growth, you may wanna try this uh, workout and let us know what your results are. Hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so, and leave me your comments. And also make sure you click the bell button to be notified of future videos. What do you think of Ken Waller's workout? I think it's quite simple and effective. And if he states that he can get up to three inches of growth with such a workout, I'm pretty sure that if you concentrate as hard as Ken would, you may be surprised in the growth that you might get stimulated by such a workout. Anyway, Hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying, bye for now. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts, and Larry Scott, and much, much more. And select your poster now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Gironda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science, and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the classic physique bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles, but how do you put them together? Well, the master series is a 14 month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises, and believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just these, these three books, as I call it, the Classic Physique Bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each, so it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code bookworm12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout.